are back with another video to share with you guys today and today we thought we would share with you our order from Lily's Kitchen. Now I done one a couple of weeks ago on the dog's food order from Lily's. Now I had quite a lot of food left over so this order is just a little different than normal. So we didn't get as much food as the last time but we got like different bits and pieces from Lily's Kitchen just to kind of make up the amount I would usually spend because I do take out a certain amount of money a month for the dog's food and if I don't need it I don't really need to use it but I thought I would get the dogs some goodies in this month to try. Yes, and you're excited. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the box came in last week and I've been dying to try stuff in it but I've not opened anything because I obviously need to do the video first. And I'm in a, a bit of a, a different um, part of the living room today. As you'll see, I am showing our fish tank here, our wee little mini reef. And it's looking all right. We did get some corals um, at the weekend, but it, they don't really look so good. So I think we're doing something wrong. But our fish, we've got two Nemo's, we've got a Dory, we've got um, a wee sand sifting goby and you know some shrimp and stuff and snails so it's looking very good so I thought I would show it off in the video I don't think you'll be able to see as much but I'll maybe show a wee clip at the end and um, just to let you guys see but anyway on with the order now my order this month came to I think it was about 46 pounds and um, it was a good order I quite liked the thing, I quite like the things that I got for the dogs um, this month. It was kind of a variety of different things. Things that they've maybe not tried before or things we've not had in a while. So the first things we got in this box was our um, summer newsletter. Which basically tells us that, um, that all the bags and the foods and everything have a new look. Um, for the dry food, which I do prefer the new look. I think I showed that in my last video. Um, I do prefer the new look of the food. And they've got new tins of food out now, but the only problem is it's the big tins and not the wee tins. And it does say here, a little something just for you. Um, we're giving away a lovely little peg and food scoop duo with, our, with your next order of dry food. And whenever you order over £20, you'll get a free pack of our compostable poo bags. Keep an eye out for more goodies and giveaways this summer. And on the back it's just got recommends, recommendations for like summer, like thirst quencher, training summer clip, tick list, just for ticks and obviously, and the countryside code. And then it's got just a couple of pictures from other animals and stuff like that. I don't know if I'm getting that in the the um, camera there, but that's it there. So that's really good. And we also have summer recipes for your dog. Now I did download the Lily's Kitchen recipe book on my phone, so I do get recipes on here, but these are just kind of printed versions. So we've got puppy power treats um, and the instructions and ingredients on how to use that. We've got frozen fruity treats, which we've used before, frozen banana treats, which we are going to try, and peanut butter pops and apple pops, and we've tried them before as well. So that's really good. That's good if you don't have the book downloaded. Um, they also do um, three for two on their summer recipes, so they've got a couple of kind of three for two on there. And then they also have Walkies on Sunshine, brand new Explorers pack, and it's £20 for some of that. So let me just explain what it is that we got. Now, we did get quite a few freebies in this box because I was kind of looking on my order list and I thought to myself, well, that's not on here, and that's not on here, and that's not on here. So... Um, I get quite a lot of freebies this month, which is really good. Okay, so first of all, let's go to our little scoop. I wasn't expecting this in this box because obviously the newsletter says on your next box. 
but we did get the little scoop and the peg so this is the scoop and it looks like a chip packet out of um, like McDonald's chips or something so you can just use that and scoop up your dog food which is really good I suppose um, although I just use a kind of level scoop and they did give us a peg if I can get it out of the box and the dogs are thinking it's something to eat it's not no it's a peg it's a peg see doesn't smell like a biscuit does it you'll maybe get one in a minute if you behave okay so that is the peg there and that just clips onto the food just to keep the food bag sealed really good and inside this is a leaflet actually I've never seen that so I think this just tells you yes that just tells you what is in the food which is really good I'm actually really glad that my dogs are on a very healthy diet I have to say I can't imagine myself changing to be honest but if I need to I'm going to have to but They've been on this food for a year now and they've not really had to change which is good and we've had no issues at all. Okay, now I'm just going to work my way down the list I've got here. So I might need to actually take some stuff out. Yes, okay. Now the first thing we got was I got a couple of big um, tins of food usually you can keep a tin for two days in the fridge sealed and it just works out that it will last because usually when we get a tray of food like a wee tray it lasts us a day and a half whereas a big tin would last us the two days so they would get two days out of it and they would have maybe just a wee bit extra in their meal so we thought we would get some of these okay so the first tin we got was an english garden party and the dogs have tried this before so in this we have freshly prepared chicken organic potatoes carrots and strawberries and green beans spinach hemp oil vitamins and minerals so that's more of an organic tin which is really really good and that's it there they have tried this before and they do really really like it might not see these very well on the camera here but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like a wee kind of blog post on my website so you'll be able to see more about these tins and stuff on the website but I'm not going to post it all in the one go I'm going to post them kind of gradually and I'm just going to do a wee post about each each tin really and each product in here and um, the next one we got was the Lily's Kitchen Coronation Chicken. Now I'm actually afraid to open this one because the wrapper of the tin is like really really nice and it's a limited edition so it's not going to stay out all the time. It is green free and in this we have freshly prepared chicken, cranberries, apricots, organic squash, spinach, vitamins and minerals and turmeric. So that again that's a nice healthy organic one and you can see the kind of gold foil on the tin which is really nice i hope you can see that there but the camera won't really give it justice so we're excited to try out this food they've not tried that one before the next one we got was um, a recovery recipe now most of you will know that the dogs have they haven't been too well lately and it's one after the other. One's no well and then maybe a month later the other one's not well and you know so they do really have sensitive stomachs um, and with Roxy she was the, the latest one that wasn't well and she never had anything different. I think it was just something that she picked up out from the park but you know I don't drive so I couldn't run away into the shops and drive away to the shops to get chicken and rice and that kind of stuff and I was kind of limited to what I could feed her at that time. So what I did do is I picked up Lily's Kitchen Recovery Recipe for Poorly Dogs. Yes, it is wet meat and it will be lighter on the stomach than what the other meats will be. In here we have freshly prepared chicken, organic potatoes and banana, 
vitamins and minerals and probiotics so again that's going to be really really useful for if one of them is sick it's not going to last a couple of days it's probably going to last the one day or the two days um, but you know that's given the fact that I only really give my dogs a teaspoonful of wet meat um, in a day that tin would probably last one of them a day so I just got one just to try it anyway um, but that's it there and because we get that tin they sent us a wee card which I thought was really cute and it's basically a card saying says feeling poly and then it says hope you're back on your paws soon and that is really really nice it's like we get well card <laughs> although she's not well but hey we'll use it for the next time mm -hmm. okay and the next tin we got was one of their excuse me one of their favorites was wild campfire stew and in this we have prepared venison pheasant salmon potatoes, organic potatoes, organic butternut squash, green beans, apples, vitamins and minerals. So again, that is full of organic fruit and vegetables, which is really, really nice. Very healthy, isn't it? Yes, very healthy. Mm -hmm. Now, I did get the three new tins that have come out. Um, they are the big tins, but I did get the three of the flavours just to try. So we got the Surf and Turf. Now, I don't know how they are going to be on this. It's a bit of a risk, but they should be fine. So in with this is a refreshing mix of beef, salmon and prawns. They've had beef and they've had salmon, but they've not had prawns before. Um, and it's called the Surf and Turf. Full of omega-3, spinach and rose hips. Um, beef, salmon, prawns, organic potato, organic peas, asparagus, spinach, vitamins and minerals and herbs. So again another organic tin. And that is it there. And they've obviously brought these out for the summer time. We then got the Wholesome Veggie Feast, a meat free medley bursting with goodness. And in here we have Carrots, cottage cheese, parsnips, dried egg, pumpkin, broccoli, um, amaranth flakes, linseed oil, oat flakes, apples, beans, chickpeas, yeast, vitamins and minerals and lentils. So that is just full of vegetables and of course it's vegetarian. If your dog's a vegetarian, then it's a vegetarian. Vegetarian tin. Although I don't really, I don't think I've ever... No one can dogs be vegetarian? I mean, they need a kind of meaty diet, I would think. Anyway, the last tin we got, yep, the last tin we got was the Sunday lunch. And this has prepared chicken, potatoes, sugar snap peas, carrots, spinach, apples, vitamins and minerals and herbs. Now, this one is not organic, which is fine. It doesn't need to be organic for them to eat. But that is it there. Nice orange tin. And that is our tins that we got, so that's two, four, six, seven tins that we got. And I already have quite a few trays left over from last month, so that, that again will last them a month. The next thing we got was our Lily's Kitchen Organic Adult Chicken and Vegetable Bake. Now, I still have a bag of this unopened in the wardrobe and I've got two big 2.5 kilogram bags of the chicken and the duck and the lamb with peas and parsley already open and they're more than half full so this is really just a kind of top up if I ever run out this month which I shouldn't really um, but we've all seen that one before so um, we are excited to use that because it's nice tasty and healthy and it's organic isn't it? It's organic, yes. Mm -hmm. Nice and tasty. Okay, the other things we got now was the Lily's Kitchen Training Treats with Cheese and Apple. They've had these before and they are really tasty. They're quite small biscuits in shape and in it it has organic light um, flour, organic whole oats, organic apples, organic farmhouse cheddar cheese, Natural, 
nutritional sunflower oil, organic flax seeds and organic rose hips. So again, they are all organic. That is the box there. And that is the biscuits. So they are quite small and they're quite a kind of decent size. They're quite a hard biscuit, so I wouldn't really say it's good for soft chewers. These are open boxes, so you can't get one of these. We're saving them. We're saving them, yes. I've got another one open for you. Okay, now the last thing we got, or actually, yes, the last things we got was a pack. So we did get the Explorers pack, which I showed you on this, and it was £20. So again, if the dogs run out of food, it's no big deal because we've got the Lily's Kitchen Breakfast Crunch and you can use that as a meal or a treat or anything you want. So we got that um, and it's got yoghurt in it, egg, um, where are we? English. Where's, where's my English? Oh, here it is here. Freshly prepared chicken, turkey, oats, rice, potato, protein, chicken liver, gravy, um, chicken fat, fresh apples, sunflower seeds, eggshell, flax seeds, salmon oil, probiotic yogurt, bananas, cranberries, whey powder. So it's very, very healthy and I've showed you these before in the last video. I've still to do a review on these on my website so I will get that done. And again, you can see more of these, more into this. Um, on the website. I've not posted it yet but I will be making posts so please keep your eyes peeled for that and we already have a box of these open just now so it's not like we're kind of running short on food um, really. In with that pack we also got a bag of the 25 compostable dog waste bags which came and comes which is going to come in handy because we're actually running out of poop bags and I do need to go to pets at home to actually get some but um these came at the right time and they're really really they're actually too nice of bags to use I don't, really don't want to use them but this is a bag here so it's a bag with two handles which is really good and it's a nice kind of soft material it's not like paper it's a kind of silky soft material and it's got a map of um, Lily's Kitchen actually on the bag, which I think is hilarious. It's too nice a bag for me to actually like put my dog's poo in and put it in the bin. But we've got 25 of them. And then we got snack bars also, which we've tried. So these are the snack bars and we've got one of each flavour. Now these bars come in at about... I think individually, I think you can get three for five pounds actually. So the box is like eight ninety nine. These are about a fiver. Um, yeah, these are about a fiver. And we got the Red Berry Boost, the Eat Your Greens, and Sunshiny Day. So that is them there. And the dogs are gagging to have one. There you go. So there will be more of these again on the website. I'll do some posts and stuff. And they come in a YouTube that I'm not going to bother putting them back in because it's a bit of a nightmare. Okay, and the second last thing we got with that bundle was the Lily's Kitchen, the famous bedtime biscuits with honey, yogurt, chamomile, and passion flower. And these again are all organic ingredients. These come in at about, they're a couple of pounds anyway. I can't remember exactly how much they are, but they are a couple of pounds. And they are quite a big biscuit. Now, we have actually opened these. They are quite hard, so again, it's not really suitable for a kind of soft chewer. They're quite crunchy. That's the size of the biscuit there. It is quite big, and you only really get like, we've only had about four biscuits out of that. So you don't really get a lot in it, but it's enough just for a wee treat. No, you're not going to have one of these because I'm going to open up a snack bar for you. Yes, I'm going to open up a snack bar. 
Okay, and the last thing we got with that pack was a tennis ball. Now, the tennis ball is not a squeaky tennis ball, but it's the first time I've seen Lily's Kitchen do a tennis ball. And it's just a yellow tennis ball, except the fact it's got Lily's Kitchen on it. So that's it there. And it's Acts of Goodness. And the dogs actually really like this. Um, they've played with it quite a lot. I don't want to take it out to the park because then it'll get dirty and then it just ruins it. So it's just a ball for playing inside. So that was our um, order and the Explorers pack was quite good. I think it was well worth the money. Um, oh. Okay, now we did get an extra bag of the dog waste bags, three. Um, which is good so instead of having 25 bags we've got 50 bags now which is really good because that will last us a, a wee while and I thought we actually got these three we got another three another set of snack bars and I actually thought we got these three but it does say when I actually read on here for the explorers pack that you get a double helping of our three fantastic snack bars and a pack of our comp compostable poo bags pack contains six snack bars two of each great flavour so obviously these are not free, these are in with the, the pack, which is good. So are we going to try one? Are we going to try one? What one would you like to try? Are you going to pick one? Sniff one and pick one. Do you want the red one? Do you want the red one? She's picked the red one. Okay. Yes, so we will we'll give you one because you've been, you've been good girls today. Yes, you have, and you've been sitting nicely while I've been doing my video. Now, this one's actually broken in half, but the snack bar is twice that size. And you can actually break it off into wee kind of bits, which is good. So they don't need to have, like, the whole snack bar. And there's two bars. There's two long ones of these in each, each bar. Do you want it? Come here, then. Come here. Can I have a kiss? Can I have a kiss? Good girl. There you go. There you go. Mm. They went too sure on these the last time. I think that's because I had them in my cupboard a wee while. Okay, so that's them. They're away happy eating that. So just a bit of a different order for you guys to see just some of the different things that Lily's Kitchen has to offer. I would say that they are a really, really good brand to um, buy from, very healthy and natural, grain free as well. They are a wee bit expensive but you pay for what you get and I'm happy that my dogs are on a very healthy diet and that, you know, I can see the health benefits from them um, from being on this food, which is good. Okay, so that is us. So thank you very much, you guys, for watching. Please leave us a wee comment down below. I'll have the link to Lily's Kitchen in the description box. And we hope you guys enjoyed. So please go ahead and check out Lily's Kitchen. I think it's not just a UK brand anymore. I do think you can get it elsewhere. So feel free to go and have a wee look. And we will catch you guys on the next video. Bye!